Hello everyone. So in this video, we will uh, follow up on the previous one to find the bad characters. So in the previous video, we used the manual method to find, and we found out that 0, 0, 0, 9, 20, and 22 all generate actually bad characters. They all are actually the bad characters that we need to avoid in this application. We also saw that the buffer size we have here was really not enough to send all of our 256 or actually 255 because we removed the 00. zero. Uh, so we had four bytes. I think it was the, uh, uh, where are they? The F, FC and then, uh, yeah, these four last four bytes. But when we tested them, we've uh, found out that they, they are actually not bad characters. And again, you can, uh, go back to the previous video to watch what I did over there. So let's just generate the bad character uh, character array again. So I'm going to run uh, this and run Mona again. So just a reminder, Mona, we want to generate a bad, uh, a byte array, sorry. We want to generate a byte array, this one. This one creates a byte array, can be used to find bad characters. So we want to generate that. So I, I think we already have those files, so let me delete them. And so we can create new bad uh, byte arrays, byte array. So we are gonna generate this. And actually we should be excluding some of those bad characters, which is a zero, zero. So we want to exclude that. So what I'm gonna do is, by the way, if you want to read the help for any command, all you need to do is Mona, help and then the, the the command itself so if we do that see so we can see all the options that we have for uh, this command so anyway let's uh, create another byte array but this time let me delete these again actually I, I don't need to delete them Mona will automatically just create others so if we do uh, minus cp uh, b okay and then specify that I want to get rid of zero zero because we don't want that actually so if we do this, so you can see here, Don wrote 255 bytes to the byte array and uh, the generate excluding one bad character, which is the zero, zero. Okay, so we already did that. Now what we can do is copy that code. So if we open the text file and now copy this and add it to our code over here, because here we deleted some of the the bad characters, right? So now we have all of our code. Great. So let's run the code again now. So run the code and see how to use Mona to find those bad bytes. So this is running. Let's hit F9 to run the code and inject it in memory. So if we search where is our A's, Okay, we can find them here. We can find these are the Bs and then one, two, three, four, etc. So if we go back to Mona again, we can see there's a command called compare. So if we go back up here, so you can see there's a command called compare a file created by MSV, etc. or with a copy in memory. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to do compare. Okay, and again, if you want to see the help, all you need to do is uh, Mona help compare. Okay, let's do that just so you can see it. So these are the main options. I'm going to go immediately start using them. So what I will do the file, we need to use the byte array dot bin. So we are going to be comparing this bin file here, this bin file, by the way, this is should be 255 bytes. So you can see it's 255 bytes. Okay, 255 bytes. And we are going to compare this with the address of where our sh where our uh, byte array is located in memory. So if we go back here, we can see that our byte array, where is it? Yeah, our byte array started here. So it's 0061FF08. So we need to compare this byte array with starting at the address 006. Uh, one f f zero eight again we are going to be comparing the values in this hexa this, uh, this binary file which includes 255 hexadecimal uh, 
we don't have here uh, like a hex editor to show you, but you'll it's the it's the same as these, it's the same as these. Okay, two hundred and fifty five uh, bytes. Okay, and it's gonna be starting to compare them byte by byte, with the starting from that address, which is zero zero sixty one ff zero eight. So now if we hit enter. Okay, if we hit enter, what is going to happen? It's going to finish the comparison and it will tell you that corruption after eight bytes happened. So zero zero was the first bad character we already excluded. And then it's telling you that after eight bytes, the zero nine is also what a bad character. So now what we need to do is go back to Mona again and say byte array minus uh, we want to uh, see db, okay, right? We want to remove those bytes. And now we are going to do 00, zero slash x, and then we are going to remove the 09, create an, another byte array. So if we go back to our logs, we can see now we excluded these two bytes, okay? We now excluded these two bytes. And now we have... 254 bytes in our byte array and 254 bytes in our new .bin file. So now you can, by the way, open this and copy them. So you see there is no 09, it has been removed, right? Because we did that. You can copy this or you can just immediately like in your shell code or in, sorry, in this stream here, just like delete this should be fine, okay? as long as you know what you're doing. And here again, if we go to our byte array, the new one, right click, go to properties, you'll see that now it's 254 bytes because we removed two bytes this time. Okay, great. So let's run the code again and see what's gonna happen. Same thing, it's a, a file and error, like you, you use your Mona to file and error, find those bytes. And so now if we run F9 to run the code, okay, so we have our, great, so we have our bytes over here. So again, we, what we will do is mona, compare, right, minus F, we are going to compare it with the byte array dot bin, okay, and then the address is 0061FF08. So if we do the comparison now, what are we going to find this time is we are going to find this time uh, corruption after 30 bytes happen. So it's telling you that the bad character is 20. So now what we need to do is, and by the way, you can probably like, if you are lazy like me, you can like open notepad and copy these values here. So you don't need to keep uh, running them again. So now what we are going to do is byte array, right? Minus uh, C db and we are going to do slash uh, slash x 0 0 slash x uh, 0 9 slash x 0 9 not 8 0 9 slash x now we have the value 20 so we can do that now okay let's store these call it uh, bad charts anything okay so now if we go back here again and create a new byte array. So here it's telling you now it's 253 and now it ex excluded these three bytes. Again, uh, you can uh, copy the new byte array contents or just let's confirm that. If we go here, properties, we can see that it's 253. So we can just immediately go in our code and delete 20 do we delete 20 try delete 20 okay probably i deleted it by mistake because i don't see 20 here oh okay sorry it's at the end so here is 20 let's just delete that okay so good we deleted 20 now let's run it again so we already saw three of them. Run it, got the crash. 
let's use the we can still use the code this one again so if you don't want to because as you can see the, the data is still at the same location because actually if you remember we disabled the slr on the application so it's not going to be using any other new location even though we are running it multiple times so here it's telling you 0, 0, 0, 0009 20 22 and fc so f and c the fc uh, uh, character if you remember that's because we don't have uh, enough disk space and by the way one thing probably i i didn't show you here is it's showing you what's in file so this is how mono is working it's showing you what's in file and what's in memory what's in file and what's in memory see so this is showing you what's in file and so here see these minus one uh, that's because mono didn't find them and see on the 22 we had a minus one which means this is uh this is how mon is actually doing the comparison so if it's blank it means no change everything is working correctly if there's a value here it means there's a problem in there so now what we need to do is we need to update this with slash x22 and run mona create a, a byte array again but this time with bot 252 and we excluded 00092022 okay again uh, you can either go directly and delete them okay or you can just go here and delete that uh, or sorry load load the values from from the file so i'm gonna do that here so now if we run this code again so now if we run the code that all good we have our bytes we need to check so now we can go back here the lazy way okay we are using the same now we are comparing with what with the new byte array right so if we look at this this should be 252 right because we deleted four bytes from it so it's 252 and we, if we do the comparison now we should only be seeing the the fc f uh, F D E E etc. So these are uh, again. So you can see there is no bad character in any any other value, but the, this one was triggered as a bad character, and actually that's because it's not even in memory. So if you look here, you can see that these four of them are triggered as bad characters, but it's really because it's not not there. I will do a video in the future where we have enough buffer, like we have more than. Uh, we have enough buffer to fit the whole uh, bad car uh, set in there or the whole ASCII uh, the hexadecimal for from 00, 00 to FF so we'll do that in another video but for now we managed to find that these are these are the only bad characters okay and these are actually not bad characters because you can take them put them in another location and run again and you can see that so make sure you remember first uh, first time you run the code here this was like like this so this is probably going to be your first trial and to remove the zero zero and then you compare with the byte array that you created and the address of where that byte array appears in memory so make sure you locate the address and compare that with your byte array if you don't compare with the address correctly then definitely you will get uh, wrong results after that, what you do when you find the bad value at the bad character, you add it and you create another. So the second one was like this. And the third one was like this, if you remember. Okay, and so on and so forth. And the last one, like you can see already, and was this one. So but every time you are comparing with where it's located in memory, okay. Uh, again in my example this one uh, why i'm still using the same uh, i would say line because uh, the application does not have aslr so it's not randomized the, the address is not randomized and i can just run the same code again okay one final thing is if you need any help so mono help and then like cmp if you want to do find the help for the compare command that's all you need to do and you can then read all about the the help of that command so uh please go back 
if you missed what I explained about bad characters, what they are, etc., I gave a, a, like a brief understanding about what they are in the previous video. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll continue to do more videos about exploitation until I finish my plan on uh, in, uh, about, let's say, this course. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to send them to me. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something out of it and see you uh, see you in another video. Thank you and bye bye.